Curry look and definitely is Hootie. Coach Hootie is aggressive, tough, like just having somebody constantly on your back. Coach Hootie is relentless. I was just expecting this, you know, tough guy, strong, intense guy. I mean, it, it's Hootie, and I was like, it's really the, the straight coach. Be more aggressive with it. Commit to it. On the blues. Hit the blues. It's about time, baby. About time. I was the youngest of five kids. I was always trying to compete with them. There was always a consequence to not winning. So if we didn't win, you had to eat an onion like an apple. Um, if you didn't win, you had to take off your shoes and socks and run up the uh, gravel driveway in your bare feet. That's what has led me to be where I am today because I always want to be the best. Andrea Hootie turned her passion for competition into a career. Hired for her first coaching job at UConn in 1995, she helped the Huskies to seven national championships in both men's and women's basketball. In 2004, Kansas came looking for a new strength coach. Lou Perkins, our athletic director, kept telling me all along, if you just interview her, you're gonna hire her. And I'm like going, uh, I, don't know about, I don't know about having a, a woman uh, be our strength coach. One of his first questions was, um, what makes you different? Why would I want you here as a coach? She convinced me, hey, I, I've worked with Oriema and I've worked with Calhoun. <laughs> I mean, so I don't think really you're gonna throw too much at me that I haven't already seen. I realized then after talking to her, she'll have the guys respect without question. Toes point forward, they have to point forward. Commit to sitting, faster. Kevin, let's go. Am I ruthless in the weight room? Probably. She'll yell at you, she'll challenge you, she'll lift more weights than you. Whatever she needs to show you to get her point across. Very few women are doing what you're doing, training men. And what is that like? I've been in a man's world for my life. Uh, I probably relate better to guys. You need to hit all your weights today. <laughs> OK. One of Hootie's most dramatic transformations is seven-foot center Jeff Withy, who evolved from an underweight freshman playing just three minutes a game to one of the most dominant big men in college basketball. Jeff, I don't know if he's ever worked hard in his life when he before he got here. Jeff, you need a wider spread and bend at your knees. God gave you knees to bend, man. When I first got here, uh, I thought I was working hard, but uh, like he always tells all the freshmen, you're not working hard unless you throw up. What's the craziest thing that she's ever had you do? There's these things called Batmans. You get upside down and you're doing a reverse push-up and it's just, it's crazy. You have to see it to believe it. Hey, Drew! To make it tougher, get a closer grip. I have something to share with the athletes, and I think after working with them, they appreciate the knowledge and the work that we put into what we do. She does as good a job as anybody I've ever been around at maximizing a guy's athletic potential, and I think our players really respect that. <laughs>
was six in the GA. I saw how good it was. And that year we were 35 and four. Danny was a sophomore. We had to make rolling, and I just thought, you know, what a And uh, I always wish that uh, uh, out of high school that maybe KU would at least send me a, a questionnaire or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But when they called, I, I really felt like that for, for over the long term, I'd always look back and say, God, I could have been the coach of the same hand. There's only been eight of us, and it is as good a job as advertised.
were watching and he was singing Garth Brooks or something like that? Let's see if we've got, do we have one of those pictures? We, there it is. <laughs>
Menu. With big tastes, you can't.